Greetings everyone, the Good Sir here, and today we're going to be talking about a bit of a nostalgic thing for me, the M50 gas mask. So, before we whip that out, when I was a kid, way back in the day, because my father was in the Marine Corps back in the mid-80s, he got his uh, M17 gas mask, and he got to take it home and everything, so when I was growing up, we had an M17 gas mask in the house, a little more popular design, the uh, built-in filters in the cheeks, two eye sockets, tons of replicas have been made across the world because it's a pretty cool looking gas mask. Well, lo and behold, not too long after that, things moved on and they've got the M40 gas mask. Now when I enlisted back in uh, late 2008, went to boot camp and then we used the M40 gas mask. Big old M40 filter on the side, two little eyepieces, like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's like an upgraded version to use the NATO 40 millimeter filters, so that's cool. So. Went to the schoolhouse, got to the fleet, and as soon as I got to the fleet at Camp Hansen, Okinawa, we were one of the first units to actually receive the M50 gas mask. Why as a Pogue unit did we, were we among the first to receive the M50 gas mask? No idea, but we did, and it was pretty cool. So, today we actually have a M50 gas mask. So this is a bit of a nostalgic classic for me, because it was, um... Cool, because they had the single piece lens, like they used to do with the uh, MSA, was it the MCU 2P and the Millennium, but instead of being bulbous and stuff, it's closer to the face, and you got two filters that are unique. The M61 filters, same down here, fit on the mask, give you protection on both sides, you can take one off while you swap them out, so you stay safe, and you can still breathe, you're not doing that big uh, Metro 2033, oh, hold your breath, swap out the filter, hope I'm going to be okay. You got two of them, so you can pop one off at a time and keep you safe, so... You can run a single one if you want to, so you can get a better cheek weld with your rifle, but if you're using a gas mask, I'd probably just throw a laser on the rifle and hope for the best. So... Interesting features, you can get the little black lens to cover for the daylight stuff, filters are nice. You got your little mic piece here, your voice box. Got your hose, and when you turn the little tubey here, it actually rotates the hose into your mouth. Isn't that nice? It's your own little uh, hose butler, just chilling in the gas mask. Because the old ones used to just hang out on your face all the time, so that's cool. So, don one of these. Let's go ahead, do that down there, flip that up and over. Tighten, tighten. There we go, there we go. And that's a comfy little fit there. So, it's a neat gas mask. You got the little Velcro bits up here. Got your sides over here that you adjust, make sure those are nice and tight. And you got a cool gas mask. And what's really great about the M50 in particular is that with the upgraded materials and whatnot, people can actually use this to play Airsoft. If that's your thing, I mean, Airsoft is fun and you gotta wear those little metal mask and the big old goggles, so if you want to be more hardcore, super cool operator, you can just throw one of these masks, it's pretty cool, so. That's what I particularly like about it, and um, uh, yeah, so, it's a lot more stable, um, ballistically, in terms of 6mm subsonic self-propelled projectiles, but, uh, yeah, yeah, it still keeps you safe from gas. I don't think I've ever really heard a terribly large number of stories of people requiring gas in a Ghanai situation, but they're good to have. I guess World War One, but outside of that, not a whole lot. It comes with this cool carrying case, that you can kind of see, yeah. Carrying case down here sits on your leg. Okay, guys, you just rotate that down real quick. So the gas mask down there. You got your gas mask ready and accessible leg strap, waist strap, and everything's goofy. So pretty cool. I like this mask a lot. And yeah, when I first got it, my first unit, it was cool, and we were the cool kids, and we got to make fun of the guys at the M40s. And yeah, basically flex really hard on them. So it was a good time. But uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot to say about the gas mask other than. It's possibly one of the best gas masks ever made. And in addition, with the uh, outbreak of the Wuhan coronavirus, suddenly the price of these went way up. So I was lucky to actually get a hold of this shortly before that happened. So uh, now we are immune to the coronavirus. And um, yeah, we got our drinking tube if we need water. And we're pretty safe with our gas mask on. Although you can't really fly with it because people in the plane will complain. Because, oh, that guy's wearing a gas mask. Where's my gas mask? There's always got to be a problem, so. More of the story. Really cool gas mask. Like it a lot. Very easy to breathe in. Hardly feels like you're wearing a gas mask at all. 
Unless you've never worn any of the previous gas masks and you try it on, you go, how do you breathe in this thing? Well, then you go, oh, hey, check out this older gas mask. And they're like, so, thanks to know. So there's not a whole lot to tell you about the gas mask. I don't, I'm not a seaburn expert. I know the basics, which is air come in and I'm happy. Also, apparently these don't fog is what I'm told. And in retrospect, I don't think I've ever used it and had it fog in the past, so... We might be able to run around and do things in this and be perfectly okay, as opposed to older gas masks that fogged up really bad and you couldn't see. And it made life hell, so... Cool gas mask, a lot of fun, and... I pretty much just want to make a video, so... If you need filters for these, by the way, there are the M61 filters. But if you're shopping around online... A lot of people pull up these little green baggies here, and they go, oh, M41. They must be M41 filters. I don't know what's in it, but let's sell them, so. I, whenever I've looked for M61 filters, they've been stupid expensive, and I picked these up for really cheap, because the person selling them possibly did not know what was in them. So I got two new filters, and life is Gucci. Gucci, Gucci, Gouda, Cheddar, so. That's really all there is to know about the gas mask. It's super comfy, it's pretty durable, and it looks cool as hell. Oh, and all the Airsoft kids have little replicas of it that have a vent on the little grated vent on the front, and they replace the filters with little fans that blow air into their face. And yeah, so the original is probably the best. So that's all I got for you guys. It's a cool little gas mask. Love to show it off. And uh, yeah, definitely a huge upgrade from the MSA Millennium I was using earlier. So cheers, stay chivalrous, and I will see you guys on the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.